Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for showtime? All right, I'm gonna bring our first sponsor on. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening is a super heavyweight bout. Boxing out of the ring quarter. Please, everyone, let's give it up for Ramsey McGraw. Okay, coming to the ring here at the WBC Amateur League Elite Tournament. One of the sponsors, Chicago Fight Club. Coming in the ring right now, Johnny, from Pina Boxing Club. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our boxers a big round of applause to get started, y'all. Super right, heavyweight division, Johnny. That's the way they're let's starting it out here. Get busy. We're at the uh, Cicero Stadium and uh, the WBC, the Mexican supported. Uh, boxing organization and uh, it's the WBC Amateur League Elite Tournament. Round one, Johnny. Here they go. Two good size heavyweights here. Let's see if they've got the um, ability to uh, conform to their reputation. Now they're coming out fast. Both of them are using their jab effectively. It was a wild sounding right hand. Yeah, that was Ramsey thrown over the top. Ramsey reached again, but uh, felt better of it. Yeah, Dominic uh, trains at a gym I'm familiar with their coach. And they have a very good professional uh, fighter in that gym as well, Armando Pena. And Armando Sr. is uh, what comprises Pena boxing. Where's my hook? Dominic Hardy should be very well schooled. Right Referee Lou Don't Hall let in. Don't let in. in the ring. Don't let him in. There you go. Work, work, Both work, guys right look there, about the same there. size, huh, Johnny? Yeah, and they seem to be trading evenly. Keep their distance, Dominic. One, two, one, two. I'm off. There you go again. There you go, Ramsey McGraw landing some good left hooks there. Knocked the mouthpiece out of Dominic Hardy. So there's a brief stoppage to replace and rinse that mouth guard. McCall in the white corner here. Actually coming out to meet his opponent. Back with the jab. No, no, no. Good combinations here. Call goes low. Ramsey goes high. There's an uppercut by Ramsey. Relax, relax, relax. Stop. Get your breath. Back out on one, two. Right hand. One, two, hold. Nice, No, no, no. Stand your ground, man. Come on, man. Jab. Dominic Hardy trying to get that jab going. But, uh, threw a couple nice uppercuts there. Got another uppercut on the inside. He's got a really nice full shoot uppercut. But uh, McGraw is kind of leaning in and eating that uppercut right now. He's got to be careful in there. Hardy in the camouflage. Yeah, Hardy's got, Hardy's got that right uppercut inside there that is a, there he just missed it. Yeah, but that's a very awkward, but it looks like he gets a lot of leverage on that. He looked uh, very uh, in uh, unbalanced, unbalanced, throwing that, those punches. Doesn't seem to be reaching or desperately throwing punches to be throwing punches. At, at this weight, it becomes uh, a war of attrition, and the guy that probably uh, did the most running is going to have a 
an advantage in the second and third round. Well, they look like they picked up, picking up where they left off here. Some active punching and they're uh, Hardy there with uh, some straight answering punches. Hardy reaches with the right hand. Lamsey counters. And they came out strong, Johnny, in this round. Let's see if they can uh, hold that pace. Nobody's given any space here. Hardy looking for that stiff jab, and uh, looks like McGraw is trying to smother. McGraw wants to fight it inside. And he is fighting. He's not just clinching or anything like that, He's trying to bide time. Oh, he takes a left hand from Hardy. Notice McGraw's leaning in a lot with the head, and then when he gets straightened up, uh, he gets hit with a few shots, but not real crisp, significant shots. A little bit sloppy now from both guys. want to thank, uh, for the filming here, Occasion Crew, Occasion Film Crew, Ben Haran, and also big sponsors here for the WBC Amateur League Elite Tournament. Chicago Fight Club, owner and proprietor, Wasfi Tolomit and Cynthia at ringside here. Giving back and giving these young guys a chance to uh, get some experience in a, a uh, fairly prestigious tournament that's gonna have some coverage on television. Well, it's starting out uh, as a local um, tournament, and the WBC, Mexican authorities, want to uh, uh, also uh, reach into Texas and Arkansas and Arizona to expand the limits of this and make it a, a national recognized uh, competition. Yeah, anytime you get a chance to fight in a tournament and win some type of belt, that kind of gives you... Uh, a lot of confidence as a, a young aspiring uh, athlete. Boy, I'm glad I'm not judging this, Johnny, because uh, there's a lot of punches exchanged by both guys. So I still, I don't see a clear dominator yet in this fight. Round three, round three, let's see which one of these guys Wants to dig down deep and, and get this W here. Ramsey McGraw just waved him on. A little psychological warfare out there. Well, they both seem to have energy. Well, if Armando Pena Sr. lit a fight, uh, fire under his fighter in that third round, which is what he should have done, uh, we'll see if... Uh, Dominic Hardy can throw some big shots. He's looking for some bigger shots now with that right hand. He's got a good stiff jab. But he needs to sit down and throw something hard. He's got to make something happen of significance here, Johnny, to pull ahead a little bit on the judges' cards. But uh, Ramsey McGraw seems to be uh, pretty aggressive at uh, pressing the issue. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if these are uh, novice or open boxers, but they uh, seem uh, pretty well balanced. And they got the youth of the energy. Uh, and not the wildness. They, they have uh, some substance here. You got to understand, too, some of these young guys that are 200 plus pounds kind of uh, mature. It takes a while for their body uh, mechanics to catch up with coordination. So they're, uh, they're doing a darn good job. 
I know it seems like Dominic uh, Hardy from the Pina Boxing Club is landing a lot of clean jabs on the way in. And uh, depending on what the judges are looking at there, Dominic caught him with a left hook there. So Dominic seems to be the more accurate of these two punchers. Whether the judges are seeing what I'm seeing, uh, we only know when we see the scorecards. Yeah. Nice combination there. Nice exchange by both. And both it's guys not are wild punches either, not wild. Both guys are a little gassed now. Need to step up, need to step up now. 30 seconds left in the fight, maybe less. Oh, nice combination there by Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey's landed a number of those. Be interesting, uh, this is one of the hardest fights to, to judges to try to pick a clear cut winner. Both guys just basically trading lefts and rights. Not a lot of clinching, there's, oh, there's a left and right hand by uh, Hardy. Real good fight. They both appreciate it. Let's see what the judges say. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the official judges scorecard. Judge, one of four and five scores about 29, 28. Judge, two and three, 28, 29. And 28 Close, split three. decision. Well, it, Ramsey McGraw, McGraw won. He must, they must have liked. He was a more busier puncher. He uh, threw a lot of punches. Uh, good fight. Congratulations, Ramsey. Five judges, Johnny, in that bout. Winner, uh, Ramsey McGraw. Hey, Ramsey, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, that fight, you won the uh, super heavyweight. Now, do you have more bouts to compete in? Yep, uh, I was supposed to fight Saturday in the finals, fighting the championship. Okay, so you've, uh, you, that was a quarterfinal win for you, and you uh, accelerate to the finals Saturday. Yep. yep, I'm off to the finals, try to get that belt. Okay, how was, uh, what gym do you represent? Uh, Luyando Boxing from Champaign, Illinois. Champaign, Illinois. All right, that's a long way. That's right. But you got the W. That was real yep. good. Yep. Uh, give me your, your evaluation of your opponent. How was that fight? Uh, he's he's really tough. That was actually the second time we fought. Uh, the first time he got the victory, but this time I came back, got my revenge, and and won this time. Okay. So what's your prediction for Saturday? Uh, I'm going all the way. That's my belt. Good for you, man. We're really happy to have you here at the uh, WBC Amateur League Elite Tournament. You did a great performance. You fought a very good fighter, and I'm sure everybody affiliated with you is proud of you, as are we. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.